everyone and welcome back to AO.com's YouTube channel. My name's Maddie and once again I'm going to be showing you how to make a recipe in an unexpected appliance. Today I'm going to be attempting not one, not two, but three desserts in a toaster. But before we start, I'd like to put out a warning. Never ever, ever, ever put metal things in a toaster, ever. Okay, thank you. On with the show. Up first on the menu is toaster s'mores. S'mores are quite an American treat. The idea is that around a campfire you have some graham crackers, chocolate, and you melt the marshmallows and you squish it all together into a really delicious dessert. So we're going to try doing exactly the same thing, but in a toaster. <laughs> Starting with our chocolate digestive, I'm just going to get a couple and pop them on the plate. Should we make two or should we make one? Let's just make one, otherwise I'm going to eat everything. <laughs> Two chocolate digestive, chocolate side up. I've got a little bit of hazelnut chocolate spread because I need the marshmallows to have something to stick to. And let's be completely honest, who doesn't like chocolate hazelnut spread? So I'm just gonna put a good dollop of that in the middle of each one. Chocolate on chocolate, how rude. Get yourself a little handful of mini marshmallows and then just on one of your digestives, dot them around. So you end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Get your second biscuit and Plop it on, plop it, plop it on top and give it a squeeze down. Get your small and put it in the toaster bag. Yeah. Next, put your toaster bag in your toaster, like this. Oh dear. So I'm just gonna just roll over the edge of one side slightly. And we're gonna start it off on level three and see what happens. <gasps> do the toaster dance, do the, do the toaster dance. Someone has got to take these away from me. I'm all by myself in my flat, what can I do? I just have to keep eating them. Oh, I'm not seeing nearly enough melting for my liking, so I'm going to pop it up to number four. This is what we want. It's smoking a little bit, but that's good because I want the marshmallows to get really melty. Not with that. Okay, but now we're really smoking. The thing is, s'mores are meant to be made around a fire. Oh, that's really, really smoking. Do I leave it getting quite smoky in here? Oh, cheapest. Take out your toaster bag. Oh my god, can you see the smoke? It's really smoky. Over. let's see what's happened <laughs> so I think that this might be a little bit too burnt <laughs> second time lucky I've made up another s'more and this time we're just gonna do it at level three okay and then we're gonna take it straight out <laughs> done yeah <gasps> yes let's give it a taste mm -hmm. that one is naughty I give that three out of five toasters Dessert number two is mojito grilled pineapple. First up, get your pineapple rings and open up your can. Put in two pineapple rings. Squeeze your toaster pocket sort of like this so you can get your hand in there and take yourself four or five sort of sprigs of mint and just pop a few in the middle of each of the rings. <laughs> then get yourself a sprinkling of brown sugar. Pop that inside each ring. Doesn't matter if you do it quite messily because it's all gonna come out anyway. And now it's time for the booze. This bit's optional but I've gone with some coconut flavoured rum ah! and just pour in <laughs> pour in half a shot's worth that'll do oh my word maybe a bit too much squeeze it in and again pop it to level three and let's see what happens no Maddie come on not out of the bottle <laughs> Yes, this looks really good. That smells like a mojito. Oh, yummy. Okay, get yourself a little fork and then just leverage, leverage, leverage out your pineapple and just place that onto your plate with a little blob of ice cream. Use your pocket as a bit of a pourer and just pour some of that yummy sort of mojito-y, sugary juice over the pineapple and ice cream. <gasps> Yum! This is our mojito grilled pineapple with a little bit of ice cream. That's really good. That would actually be really nice layered up in the glass. I would say four and a half toasters. Four and a half out of five. Oh yes. Mmm! Dessert number three couldn't be simpler. All you need is a sugared ring donut and some ice cream. Dessert number three is the simplest of all, but I think it's a little bit genius. We're making grilled donut sandwiches. Get yourself a ring donut. Here we go. Ring donut and just cut it in half. Pop it in the toaster, cook them on about level three again, actually. Oh my gosh, now that smells beautiful. Should we put some chocolate spread in these sandwiches? Why wouldn't we? 
The toast is pot, but I don't think three is quite enough, so we're gonna go for another two. Do the donut dance, do the, do the donut dance. These are our toasted donuts. Here, you could put absolutely anything you wanted on them, but because I've got it anyway, I'm gonna go with some chocolate spreads and a dollop of ice cream. Pop you with a donut. Wow, yes! You wanna eat these straight away because they're warm and the ice cream's melting. That is five out of five toasters. It's going to make somebody in your life very happy. So which of those three desserts was your favourite? Let me know in the comments below and we can have a vote. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye!